and today I will demonstrate how you can safely and quickly apply for services with Coast to Coast Legal Aid of South Florida Online. During this demonstration, I will show you how to complete a Family Law Matters application. Some examples of the type of family law matters we handle are injunctions for protection against domestic violence, dating violence, stalking, sexual violence, divorce. Before you apply, we suggest you have some items or information handy, such as your full address, citizenship status, social security number, the number of people living in the household, monthly income of each person in your household, including yourself, monthly expenses of each person living in the household, including yourself, at your adverse party's name or the person that is causing you the legal problem. It's important to note a household is defined as individuals who pull their monies together in order to share the expenses in the household. Applying online is really easy. Log on to our website at www.coasttocoastlegalaid.org from your computer, laptop, tablet, or any other mobile device. I'm going to log into the Coast to Coast Legal Aid website. On the Coast to Coast Legal Aid website, you will see a button on the op upper right-hand side labeled Apply Online for Legal Services. Please click that button to begin your application. You'll notice this page says online application for legal services, and that's how you'll know you've begun your online application. Choose the language you prefer to complete your application and continue. You'll receive a general, I guess, advice or notice suggesting again that you have the following information handy. Social security number, immigration status, complete address. Plus, press continue when you are ready. Enter your county of residence. And you'll have some yes or no questions to answer. Answer those questions. Hit continue. The next page you'll see is our application for services page. This is where you'll read information about your, your terms and agreements. You'll also receive some information on when you should not complete this application. You should not complete this application if you have a short deadline or an emergency. If you have a court date that is scheduled within two weeks from the date you want to apply for services, if you've gotten a notice that your house will be sold at foreclosure within 15 days, if you have a deadline within the next 20 days, if you are facing, facing eviction or foreclosure, if you are currently incarcerated, you should not complete this application. Additional, additionally, if you have been served with legal documents or have a temporary injunction with a hearing, do not complete the application. Please call us instead. And you will call 954-318-4460 for any of those matters mentioned. After you've read 
the application for services page. Click on agree that you have read the information and agree to the terms and continue. At this point, you'll have additional yes or no questions that are called screening. Answer those questions. For this application, I'm simply choosing no, but please read the questions carefully because they may pertain to a matter that you're experiencing. When you're done completing the yes or no questions, click continue. Next, you'll be asked to choose a problem category. A problem category, choose one that is as close to what you are experiencing or closely describes the legal problem you're having. For this application, we're choosing family matters. At the bottom corner from the drop down menu, I am choosing family as the initial legal problem. Continue when you're ready. The following page is our demographic page. Please complete that information as well. You'll notice the red asterisk. If you see a red asterisk, that means that information is required in order to complete the application and have that completed application submitted. You'll have an opportunity to enter more than one phone number. Please be sure the number is accurate so that we can reach you. You'll be asked if it's safe to contact you at the phone numbers you've listed. You'll be asked if it's safe to text you at the phone numbers. If you have a best time to reach you, please enter that information as well. There is an option to submit an email address. Please also enter the name of the adverse party. That is the person or organization that is causing your legal problem. When you are done answering those questions, hit your continue button. And the next page that you'll see is the household information page. Enter the number of people, 18 and over living in your household. The number of people living in your household that are under the age of 18. Choose your current living situation. Include your financial information. With the financial information, please specify income and expenses for you and any member of your household. You will need to specify the type, frequency, and amount. For example, I receive $800 bi-weekly from employment. And employment is my type of income. Moving on to the expenses, I select for my purposes today, rent. The frequency that I pay rent is monthly and the amount I pay is $700. Once you've done with your financial information, continue. Next, you'll enter your legal problem. 
So the, there's a question here that states or asks, which of the following best describe your legal problem? I am choosing divorce and separation. You'll receive a preliminary notice if your application is accepted that states you may qualify for assistance, please click on the continue button. You'll have an opportunity to review and confirm your information. Once you've reviewed your information and it is correct, please submit your application with this button at the bottom right-hand corner. Once you've submitted that application, please note the following message, finished application submission result. Your application has been successfully submitted to Coast to Coast Legal Aid of South Florida. According to the answers you provided, you may qualify for services. Note, this is just a preliminary application. We're going to need more information about you. You will be contacted in approximately two business days to confirm all of the information entered. Okay. That concludes the application process. If there are any additional questions you'd like to ask us, we welcome that. Please call us at 954-736-2400. Again, that's 954-736-2400. Thank you. Have a good day.